welcome back to my channel. I'm Britt. The man behind the camera is the beard. The beard. Okay. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a collab with a bunch of wonderful channels here on YouTube. This collab is hosted by Katie from Life with the Love Day. So thank you, Katie, for hosting this. And it's an Easter treat collab. I will leave a playlist down below. So when you finish watching my video, please feel free to go check out all the other videos because there's been a lot of time and effort put into them so please feel free to check them out today i'm making easter blondie m, m brownie things what do you call them blondies. Easter blondies yeah easter blondies that's what you call them um you need a cup of unsalted butter melted we've already pre-melted it because you need to let it cool for three a couple minutes like three minutes and while you're getting everything ready, you want to make sure your oven is being preheated to 350 degrees. What? Is that 250? Um, so you need one cup of unsalted butter melted, one cup of white brown sugar, one half cup of regular sugar, two large eggs, which are right there, um, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, a fourth teaspoon of salt in one cup of M&M's divided. This is three-fourths of a cup, and that's one-fourth of a cup. So, divided it out that way. So, you want to spray an eight-inch square baking pan and line with parchment paper. I'm not going to line mine because these are non-stick and they shouldn't stick. I'm just spraying it really well. Melt the butter. You can melt it on the stove top and stove top in a small saucepan or you can melt it in the microwave. We just melted ours in the microwave. Allow to cool. Transfer the cooled butter to a large mixing bowl and add sugar, eggs, and vanilla. So wait, transfer the butter. It says add sugar, add sugar. So I'm guessing both sugars. Sugar, eggs, and vanilla. So sugar, sugar, eggs, and how much vanilla? You guys, I don't ever measure vanilla. I'm just going to pour some in there. That looks good. The beard was very kind and... There goes my eggs. Put that in the seat for me. And we're going to use my KitchenAid that the beard so nicely bought me for Christmas. <laughs> Says you just want to put until combined smooth and glossy, which that looks pretty good. I think that looks good. It wouldn't be. I haven't made a mess yet, so we'll see. Add in flour, baking powder, and salt. So you need two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the teaspoon, one fourth teaspoon of salt. until the batter is thick in a few strips of flour in it. We'll go with that. Do a little bit. That'd be difficult. 
Gently fold in three-fourths cup of Easter M&Ms. Do not over mix. So we're going to take this off. And I'm going to use my... Good enough. It says gently and not to over mix. And we're going to transfer it. Gently press the remaining M&Ms on top. We're going to press the mixture into the corner and level the top. So we're just going to gently attempt to level it. I don't know. the butter gently press the M&Ms on top bake for 30 to 40 minutes depending on how chewy you want the center bake for 30 minutes for a chewy blondie and 40 minutes for more cakey texture I think I'll go for 40 minutes so, now I'm just going to I think I'm just going to sprinkle mine I think it'll be okay. Now I'm going to put it in the oven. And this is what it looks like before. And I will see you guys when it's done. So we decided to bake them for about 30 minutes. That looks good to me. No, they're done because the texture just clean. Yeah, they're done. They don't. No, they're done. Okay. Well, there's that. So apparently, this is what they look like when they're done. All of the M and M sink to the bottom. So you guys, this is what it looks like. I will come back after it cools and I will show you what it looks like all cut up. Hey right, guys, so we let it cool about 10 minutes and then we flipped it onto a Easter plate, which hopefully I'll get to show you after I put it on that. I just done that to make it easier to cut and now I'm going to cut it into little squares and then my boys can have it tomorrow for snack and dessert and whatever they want. That's quite easy. That's good. Ooh, yummy. Oh god. It's falling apart, but that's okay. Let it cool a little bit longer. Next time it'll stick together. <laughs> I just want to show them my peak plate. I'm going to put these in the fridge and let them cool overnight. Yes, I know this is extra dishes, but that is okay. Look, they're cut. Just let them cool a little bit longer. I yeah, we say. kind of jumped the gun on. Let them cool long enough because the bear kept saying, we need to finish, we need to finish, we need to finish. So. That's not what I said. We finished. I said they're done. That was wrong.
they're done. It's just I need to cool. But see, look at my peep plate. Happy Easter with the peep peepers. So that's what the beard calls them is peep peepers. You see? Happy Easter. Is that what I call them is peep peepers? And the stuff is falling apart. So it looks like a hot mess, but it's still It good. looks delicious. Okay, guys, so that's oh all you gosh. have to do to make Easter blondies. Most of the ingredients are, the beard is, like, obsessed now. Most of the ingredients you guys probably already have. If you bake a lot, you might need to get, like, the M&Ms or a few things. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. And once again, thank you, Katie, for hosting this. And I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite food for Easter is because I would love to know. Oh. What's your favorite Easter food? Mom, problem. These now? Mm-hmm. Mm. Apparently these are his new favorite food. So should I make it for Easter? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.